People who have watched Nika know how horny the whole drama is. In the drama, we see Anusha, the daughter of Azaz who is bold, but in the right way. Her class fellow and boyfriend Horus appreciates her traits and attracted to her too much. The whole drama was about Horus's desire to marry Anusha. It doesn't matter the love exists or fades away, the marriage must happen. On the other hand, we see smart Anusha opening all of our eyes by breaking her wedding because of the conditions in Nakanama. Why did she needed to read Nakanama right at the time of the marriage? Couldn't she solve all the issues before? But we all have seen that nothing can come in the way of Anusha being too bold, not even her marriage. After her father died, a different side of life came out. Anusha had to live alone in her big house. She needed to go to market, cook food, close doors before sleeping. She has to take care of her all by herself. Hamden and her romance was interesting. Hamden said and did all the words and works Anusha would like to listen. Anusha showed too much drama in ignoring Hamden fakely, because his father hates her. Really, you ignore someone by picking up their phone, getting up in their car, calling them when you need. That's how Anusha kept ignoring Hamden in the drama. Farak dies for his daughter Yusra, who keeps breaking glasses if this isn't her glass. I think Yusra has low self-esteem which gets triggered if she isn't served with her special glass. She feels special when she gets coffee or juice in her glass. The other characters Nayat, Reina, Umama are interesting. Umama, despite being educated does nothing and takes care of the home and servants. She couldn't handle the greed and love for the elegant house, that's why materialistic Umama keeps taking care of house. After Anusha's marriage with Hamden, we see different part of Anusha. She likes to be appreciated by feeding people heavy, unique food. Their relationship started based on love, but ended as Anusha being a great daughter-in-law in the family. Anusha was more engaged in family drama than her engagement ring I mean romance with Hamden. They cared more about other people instead of their relationship. After Yusra's marriage with Horus, their true color came out too. Yusra is a beautiful, dumb girl. All she can do is sitting at home and feel bored. Then waiting for people to give her love and attention. Horus is always busy in his work. Horus loves Yusra keeping Anusha in his mind. They don't have any married life, all they have is some vague affirmations that forcibly comes with the Nakanama they signed. It's so embarrassing that Horus's mother keeps trying to mend their relationship which doesn't exist. That was for today. Hope you liked my video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.